Today we're in the closet with Stephen Gallagher, composer, and even if you think you don't know Stephen's work, you probably do know his work from blockbusters like um, The Hobbit, Hobbit and Lovely Bones, Lovely Bones yeah. King Kong. Uh, no, I was, I was only just the editor on the, a little part of King Kong, so. Right. Yeah. But well, it's a great film, you should totally see it. <laughs> and you're, um, but you've also collaborated with huge stars like Ed Sheeran, my favourite Nick Cave, okay. um, Brian Eno, etc. Et yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so um, you will be aware of his work. And when I was looking at your bio today, I kept going back to the work you did on the Memphis Three. Oh, yeah, West of Memphis. West of Memphis, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And it really sort of draws you in and when we were speaking about it just before about how you could turn the narrative off on the trailer yeah and you would know exactly what that story was absolutely yeah and that's largely down to amy the director uh being such a great storyteller you know uh, peter jackson fran walsh being amazing storytellers and their collaboration making that film was pretty incredible and then add into the mix other music of nick cade more and alice um, which was, I had the pleasure of editing uh, into the film. It was an amazing experience. And you know, that's the, the gravity and the weight of that story could have really easily been sort of overcooked and overplayed. But I thought that team did a pretty sensational job of telling a, a really compelling story and a really kind of heartfelt story. And a really kind of humanist kind of caring story in the, in the sort of um, context of that really kind of horrible series of events. Yeah, it's like everyone's worst nightmare. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <clears throat> Being convicted yeah. of a crime that you haven't committed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you don't know the story, it was three young guys, three teenagers. They were at the time, yeah. Yeah, from Memphis that got um, convicted of the murder of three small boys. And um, and this documentary holds the American justice system to account for that. It's incredible yeah it's not easy viewing no. uh, it's a pretty extraordinary documentary one, one other thing I found really interesting about that is one of the, one of the guys in it Damien mm -hmm. Eccles, Eccles yeah. he was saying that one when there was this witch hunt on one of the reasons um, why he stood out and became a target of that mm -hmm. witch hunt was what he wore. Really? Yeah. My goodness. Because he, um, really? Yeah. Wow. Coming from this uber, super conservative small sure. town yeah. in the Bible yeah. Belt, mm -hmm. and he wore completely black. And so they kind of viewed it as slightly satanic. Yeah. Oh, really? Or, or wow. not slightly satanic, but. A bit said, different. And, and different, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's it's, extra yeah, extraordinary. So, yeah, fashion makes a impact sometimes with consequences beyond our imagination. Yeah. yeah, and the narrow, the narrow focus of that community. Mm. So him, around what he chose to wear, he mm. really stood yeah. out. There's a mark of his own individuality, but it was kind of misconstrued by people. Hey, you're different, therefore wrong. Different yeah. from us. Wow. The okay. judgment around it. Huh. Yeah, isn't that, God, isn't that cave or... Um, who was Roy Orbison or oh, yeah. you know, what did they think of these guys oh, well. that dress head to toe in black? Yeah, so. I mean, you know, I, I can't answer that. I look at Nick Cave and Roy Orbison, and uh, I guess Johnny Cash as well, the man in black. I just look cool. Yeah, so <laughs> you're onto, onto the topic that we're here for. You're, you're all in black? Well, uh, no, no, black? no, 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 uh, yeah, a little bit, bit of mixture. They say black and navy should never go together, therefore. Ah, they also say, they say green and blue should never be worn together. Really? Yeah. Oh. I love it together. Do that? Oh, God, I oh, love it good. together. I'm really glad you're here because I know nothing about fashion at all. Oh. And it's really actually quite embarrassing. I mean, not embarrassing, but quite nerve wracking to have, to have uh, you know. Uh, but I had lots of questions, so um, thanks for coming by. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It is my pleasure. So when you're working, what do you wear? Oh, well, is this just, what you wear? Yeah, usually. I mean, um, I'm inside in the dark room a lot of the time, and uh, it's a mixture of kind of comfort and um, practicality, really. Um, and 
that's that's kind of as vague a... <laughs> so what's your go-to? Uh, um, there's yeah, yeah. inside your wardrobe? Yes, I hope you're all sitting down, this is not yeah. pretty. So, you know, I've noticed that on your, uh, on all the videos I've seen you do so far, I've really enjoyed all of them. Every single person you've interviewed, their closet is beautiful, immaculate, lovely. That's not going to happen today. So, <laughs> hold your breaths. Look. We like the whole stick. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> so, it's kind of a mess. But it's also, I mean, I need to go through it, and I'm really glad you're here, because I wanted to talk to you about recycling clothing, because I have a lot of clothing I don't wear. Yeah. And previously to you being here, I probably would have just taken it to the Sally's or, or to a second-hand store. But what, what would you suggest I do? Oh, depend, one, depends how worn it is. Mm -hmm. And two, depends on your objectives. So okay. if you want a charity to receive the full, full value of, mm -hmm. um, of that clothing, yeah. give it directly to the charity. Okay, great. Give it to Sally Armies mm. or hospice yeah, or cool. places like that that, right. that have their own stores that can mm. on sell it. Because if you put it in the charity bins, it's gonna likely end up in the Pacific Islands somewhere. Right, and, right, right. Okay. And it's not a charity model; it's actually big business. So right. they on sell it into developing countries. Huh. See, so I never knew that. No, well, most people don't know it because wow. the way it's presented and the way it's advertised is not. Yeah. The way it works. So you're saying so, I put I take the clothing and I put it into the bin, presuming that's going to be donated to people who need it. But what you're saying is that it's not. It's being taken out and unsold. Wow. Okay, that changes everything. Yeah. Wow. So hospice, Red huh. Cross, yeah. St Vincent de Paul. I just take these directly into the store. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. And then they unsell them. Yeah. And then they get the full return of that. Yeah. So it's like making a donation to charity. Okay, that's amazing. Are there other options as well aside from? Um, you can reuse it yourself. Yeah. So if you've got manky old um, t-shirts and stuff like that, oh, loads cotton. Of <laughs> yeah. They use they, they can be used for um, cloths, cloths, yeah, yeah. and stuffing and toys and cool. you know the very best thing to do mm -hmm. um, outside of that. Um, giving it to a charity for them to yep. you know, recover some funds from is to actually use it yourself. Great. Okay, and a lot awesome of people advice. just put their ripped, yeah. you know, manky old clothes in the bin. And yeah. people mm. don't want it. Seems a waste. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. That seems a waste. Well. And as you can see, so many, so many <laughs> potential <laughs> cloths and uh, household cleaning. So when you're working, you are. Is, is this your going out or is this your working? Um, I don't really have a going out. I mean, I sort of just I wear this at work and and going out. I don't really have that kind of going out sort of. But I've Did seen I mean? I've seen that huge list of your awards. So when you're up on the stage um, getting all those awards, well, what do you wear? No, uh, I don't often. I mean, I don't really go. I I I'm either I go. I go to work, or I'm really here. I don't really leave those two places very often. So, uh, if I, I guess it's formal, if I'm formal, I have like a couple of suits here. I've got, a, I guess, what you'd call a vintage Zambezi <laughs> suit. I'm not even sure if that's a proper term for it. And I have this uh, suit from Working Style. Yeah. Which I really love. Actually, I think they they make great stuff. And actually, both Zambezi and Working Style. For me, uh, were great experiences in just buying and the service, the whole package was an extremely great experience. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, those are uh, less formal. I don't know, I have this thing where I just like, you generally just chuck on a shirt, some jeans, or a t shirt, and then throw maybe a blazer over it. Um, so, where do you buy your clothes from? Like, you've uh, got these great prints. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Uh, I mean, Velvet so, yeah, a lot of people, I find these kind of contentious. A lot of people uh, hate velvet. I love it. Uh, and a lot of people. But yeah, people just, come up and stroke you if you wish. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. There's, there's been some rather uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> uh, my favorite one. So that one is from. That's from Holland. Uh, so that's from Amsterdam. So when I was there with my wife, who is of Dutch heritage, one of the mind, most mind-blowing things about um, 
Amsterdam and kind of Europe in general, really, is just like the second hand store. Oh, the, unbelievable. The, off the chain. And so, yeah, I got a number of jackets, and I've, I've always loved these. Um, and I think I have a, what's my favorite one? The one that I get most comments on, which I mean, you know, even if I didn't, I love it. This one. Oh, I Midnight this. Blue. Yeah, Midnight Blue. And where's this from? This is from uh, Ziggurat. Right. Yeah, 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 down on Kim oh, Street. Street. Yeah. yeah. So I used to um, go in there, you know, um, and I still do sometimes, but, you know, when I didn't have much money, uh, and I found this, and I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it, because I was obsessed with velvet jackets. And... Uh, it's got a fine feel. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is the one, if you put it on, it's just, it feels nice, and um, it can dress things up a bit. People do, I find it's kind of a, People either like it or they hate it. Yeah. I like it. Well, um, you're dressing to please yourself, don't worry about anybody else. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Um, oh, maybe your wife, you're dressing to please yourself. Well, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I guess I am, really. Uh, does she ever, do you ever come out in something and she goes, yeah. what is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> does she? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, she's, I, I really admire, she's got this sense of fashion that I think is amazing. I don't have a sense of fashion, I just wear whatever I feel like. She's got, she wears what she feels like, but she's got a kind of a sense of fashion where she's like, she's very, uh, what's the word, like Art Deco era kind of influenced, and she has lots of fun with fashion, and, and our daughter's kind of the same, you know, like I really look at, she's four, and she just loves playing with clothes, and I kind of really, I love that. My, my mum was sort of the same, actually. And I, 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 I inherited that, so, uh, but, yeah, definitely, if I come out in something and, and my wife will be like, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and thank goodness. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, jackets, I like shirts. Um, I like so pretty do you, simple. Do you have a preference for, so you've got velvet, um, you've got a little bit of leather. Oh, this leather jacket, actually, you know what, I, I used to wear that a lot when I was in my 20s. Wow, 70s? Yeah, it's 70s, so it's a gift from a friend of mine who is now 70 years old. And um, he gave this to me when I was a teenager. And it really meant a lot because he wore it when he was in London. And uh, I used to wear this all the time when I was um, in my 20s. Rock and roll band, you know. Good, what's the, what's the label? <laughs> uh, Windsor Clothes, so it's from London. Um, do you do proof Goliath. Goliath. Wow. It's made in Melbourne. Huh. There you go. But yeah. Um it needs a bit of it needs Tune a bit of Brothers. Nottingham. Oh Nottingham England. Oh, so it's made in England, maybe it's sold in, yeah. in Melbourne. Yeah. Got yeah. the lining's still really in good, isn't it? Uh, it needs a bit of a, a slot clean here, which uh, I haven't pulled it out in ages actually. I've forgotten how much I used to wear I love wearing this. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. Uh other than that, I'm pretty I mean what else? Um, you know, I think I, my, my favorite things are... <gasps> cool drawing. Oh, my wife bought this for me. She bought it in Spain. I mean, I think it's a Zara. <laughs> but I love this. We don't this. say that. Oh, we don't say that? <laughs> no, yeah. uh, Sahara, Sahara. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's like the um, intellects jacket, isn't it? Yeah, cool yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, associate with... I think I need the leather, leather patches. Thoughtful. I think the leather patches, like that's kind of like that's full blown university lecture, and that's definitely a look I'm 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 hoping to cultivate. You know, as I as I grow older, uh, some leather patches, a pipe, and a beard, and you know, collection of John Paul Sartre under my arm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what else here? I've got. I mean, uh, I don't know. I you know I'm I'm, I'm a fan of. Uh, not just a striped black or blue kind of. Oh God, where is he? I can't even find it. Quite a bit of navy. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. probably my favourite colour, navy. Yeah. Uh, and I'm my uh, being constantly encouraged not to wear too much black, but um, I love black. What can I say? Well, it's it's, <laughs> it's just such an easy go-to, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a bit lazy. I can't find them, maybe they're all in the wash. I, I love the, the spectrum of ages you've got across your wardrobe. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice. It's really eclectic, and 
Um, eclectic seems like a diplomatic word for kind of a, a jumble or a mess, but I appreciate no. that you said eclectic. No, it's kind of, you've got 1970s going on oh, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and the velvet, you're, you're taking from different oh, decades. And... Actually, I know it sounds a bit trite, but spots, I love them, because it reminds me of um, Robert Smith from The Cure, and he always oh. used to wear these, and I was like, man, those are cool shirts. But it was a period of the cure, like like late eighties, early nineties, and he was all about spots, and that's when I loved the cure. So, yeah. I just think of him in black. Ah, I'm gonna uh -huh. have to go back uh -huh. and have a look. Cover of yes, yeah, a couple of covers of albums where he's, yeah, in spots. Um, yeah, that's. That's you. So that wasn't such a shock. I was like, expecting like you just to sort of reel back in horror and go, and then turn to the camera and go, cut, cut, cut. Yeah. But <laughs> it didn't go like that. But yeah, that's awesome. So no, I really appreciate the um, your ideas in terms of recycling clothing because that's something I definitely need to think about um, and just clear things out. Uh, you've got you've got a reasonable amount of clothes. Uh, right? Yeah, I mean more than I actually wear, to be honest. Um, and uh, yeah, some things that have been. I mean, this you know, that's been. I can't remember the last time I wore that. I got that in Melbourne, I think, or Sydney somewhere. And at the time, I was like, well, that's kind of cool. It's sort of like 1970-ish, and I love the orange, and it's not a colour that I would usually... The name, Vince Maloney. Vince Maloney. Yeah. He <laughs> sounds like a gangster. Yeah, you can picture Vince <laughs> with his big cigar going, I love this, yeah. And Vince wearing a lot of that, maybe a lot of brown as well. Having a lot of short espressos. Um, yeah. Uh, so, this is the... Stephen Gallagher wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, at the moment. Um, yeah, my, my condolences. <laughs> <laughs>